well underway, and that means changes have been made to the state's bottle bill. In fact, bottle redemption centers are also seeing a big increase in traffic right now. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Egg Law is breaking down why. MT Bottle Return just opened its Middletown location and already it has been busy. Well, we had a lot of cans and bottles that we wanted to recycle and this is the best way to recycle them all at once. The convenience is key. Drop off your bags of cans and bottles, the machine counts them, you get five cents back for each bottle or can, and within minutes, you get paid in cash. Um, we've spent hours just trying to put them in the machines that break down at the supermarkets, so this is really a great way to get everything done fast. I thought it was cool, and it was definitely easier than just putting the bottles in, and then it has to scan it, and sometimes it doesn't work. This comes as changes have been made to Connecticut's bottle bill. You're probably used to getting charged with a five cent deposit on water bottles or soda cans. As of the new year, the list has expanded to include sport and energy drinks, hard seltzers, ciders, tea and coffee, kombucha, and juice products. So your Gatorade, Snapple, Arizona iced tea, and monster drinks now have a deposit amount of five cents. We take in all store brands. Uh, regardless of where they were purchased from, and we take microbrews and everything. Priyal Gharala is the owner of MT Bottle Return. He now has five bottle redemption centers across the state and says his locations have been busier. Yeah, we, we've been noticing a lot of more volume because now, as of January 1st, we have gotten uh, the juices, sports drinks, iced teas, coffees, all that stuff has been passed. At other MT Bottle Redemption centers, about 30 to 40,000 bottles and cans come in every single day. The owner tells me he expects the Middletown location to get even more once they're settled in. In 2024, the deposit amount will increase from five cents per can or bottle to ten cents. In Middletown, Aya Galel, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.